Hi and welcome to our 27th episode and my name is Sofia Newsaid and I am in conversation with the Dean and Director of Six Cricket Academy, Mr. Karthik Jashwant. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Mr. Jashwant, we recently <coughs> concluded a year-end medallion night where you shared the stage alongside your teammates, Mr. Javagal Srinath and Rahul Ravid, who were former test stars. For those who missed out on the evening, what would you say the biggest take away from the star-studded panel discussion? Thank you. Thanks for the question. It was a lovely question to start with. Uh, uh, we, we have this medallion night as the closing of a particular season and we have had some very distinguished uh, cricketers who have, uh, of, uh, you know, uh, graced this occasion. To start with, it was Chyoteshwar Pujara, then it was uh, uh, VVS Lakshman, Shikhar Dhawan, uh, Rajabini, uh, Vinay Kumar and this time it was a pleasure having uh, Javagal Srinath, who, according to me, has uh, uh, you know, will be the right person to talk to the parents uh, because he's a big believer in education, and at the same time, he is really understands sports parents. So I thought he was the, the right uh, right person to have to, uh, this time, and uh, yeah, he did uh, speak lovely uh, uh, input for the parents, and of course the. Uh, the ch children also play the sport and of course the icing on the cake was our mentor Rahul Dravid himself with uh, his uh, real wisdom which he, yeah like you asked uh, what was the takeaway from both Javagal Srinath and Rahul Dravid. So for me if I start with uh, uh, Javagal you know uh, Javagal Srinath and I worked very closely in the RCKC Academy sometime, uh, sometime back. So we had a lot of uh, interactions and I understand that person, you know, he really, how much he values the holistic development of a person. Basically, you know, we just have that short-sighted view as to, you know, once I get into the cricket ground, I have to become a cricketer. It's just not that. He, he believes in the overall things which the sport brings uh, in itself, you know, in most of the time I also speak this language, but it's all I picked it from him. You know, so uh, so he he knows really what it is and what is what are the val values, the, what is the importance of education, what is the patience for uh, the sport parent, uh, uh, then what is the difference between going to school? I think that point it touched upon beautifully, so that uh, you know the the cricketer does not come under pressure. The, uh, the cricketer does not come under pressure. So, uh, you know, other, other, otherwise what happens is like, you know, the whole time you're playing, 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 and then you don't get uh, a performance at the end of the uh, week. Then you're again pressurized versus, you know, a regular school where he exactly told that about, you know, mixing with all your other friends. Uh, you know, you have so many other things to uh, discuss upon or, or to deal with versus just cricket. So, so indirectly he was telling that, you know, to be patient with the players, have a proper education uh, system. Uh, don't don't compromise on all, uh, on uh, on education for the uh, for for the sake of uh, sport. Whereas it should be the other way, you know. Uh, the the co the the sport should complement uh, education rather than the other way. You know, there will come a stage where uh, every child or every cricketer or uh, every sportsman uh, needs to spend much more time at the particular sport if he excels in that and he's got some hope of reaching. Uh, or making a career out of that sport. At that time, yes, you need to spend. And that is the time where, where probably when you are just getting into a past 12th standard, you know, that is when you got to think about all this. Versus, you know, I see kids at 6th standard, 7th standard discussing about should we continue school, should we continue, uh, uh, you know, uh, open schooling and all that. I think you are only putting a lot of pressure. That is what uh, Javagal Srinath also told. And the patience uh, part of it. And he also told one more important thing. It is for the parent. It is not just about coming and dropping the children to the academy and going. It is about, you know, spending time, spending quality time with them, being a part of, uh, you know, their sports journey. Because uh, every day a sportsman does not succeed. So, being a part uh, with him or her when, when uh, uh, you know, when uh, the going is not too good. I, I think these are the two two things, few things or uh, which I uh, picked up from uh, Javagal Srinath. 
uh, what I can relate is you got to balance both education and sports to take it forward. Yeah, everybody talks about balancing both. But, you know, I've seen a lot of patients, uh, parents themselves who do not have the patience. They want to see the result by 16, 17. It doesn't work like that. And some of these parents who will go any distance or, you know, take the shortcuts, you know, getting to uh, do all kinds of things to get them into under 14, under 16, you know, it is it is irrelevant for me. You know, if you're less looking at that, you'd rather don't start the sport. You know, under 16, under 14, who recognizes that, you know? It is whether you've played for your country, whether you've played for your zone, where, you know, where, whether you've played for the state, whether you played in the IPL, whether you, you, you played at some level, did you contribute? These are the things which give you recognition versus under 14, under 16. And I think parents have lost their, you know, vision towards that. So, if you could elaborate about how our mentor said, putting all eggs in one basket. Don't put all the eggs in one basket. Yeah, that's a fantastic point which our mentor Rahul Ravid uh, spoke during the uh, medallion night. So what, what he really meant was, I think the sports parent do understand that, you know, don't play for this uh, sport as a sport. Not just that, you know, just because, you know, my son has bought a bat, he does not end up like a Dravid or a Tandulkar or a Virat. Uh, so that's what he meant. So he allow him. Let he has a right to play the sport. You be a part of that. But but then you know compromising on education, which I just told or we just spoke about what Javagal Srinath told. That is not that is what he meant about uh, you know putting all eggs in one basket. Then the second part, which uh, Rahul, which impressed me uh, the most, was about uh, what Rahul spoke was about uh, you know how do you read success. See, unfortunately, we all have one particular way of reading success and especially the players and the parents, which I'm referring to now. The parents think that if my child is selected for some selection, they think that as success. And a player, if he gets five wickets or if he gets a hundred, he or she thinks it is success. But beautifully, uh, Rahul Rabbit put it was, look at the layers in between. I call it as wheel within wheels, you know. It could be the outer layer could be, you know, you may think it is it has success because I've been selected for under 16, under 14, under 19. But what Rahul probably meant was, did you do enough work to be there? You know, was your preparation right? Was your planning right? Or were you just lucky? So if you're just lucky, probably uh, another day you may not be lucky. So, so these are all things which I think the parent and the player should think that, you know, finally it boils down to the process. That is what uh, Rahul also spoke about. It is about the process and where, where does the process start? The process starts here in the net. Planned proper practice is what, you know, and, and with everything, every minute you spend on the cricket ground at practice, if you take care of all these small things, the bigger things will take care of itself. You know, that's what uh, probably uh, Rahul meant. That was the message. Uh, uh, that was the takeaway for me from Rahul Rahul. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Moving on to the second question. So, seventh edition of the sixth summer camp, a, big, uh, a new journey for a lot of parents and their children. What do you expect <laughs> in sixth academy? Uh, yeah, see why 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 summer camp is a little different from the regular camp because summer camp is one thing where the, the children are less pressurized or no pressure because of school studies and all that, and uh, probably the travel is a lot easier, you know, because I understand coming to this academy, uh, uh, which is a distance of about 25 30 kilometers from the city, it is a challenge. So all these are not there you know, during uh, this, this summer. So he can, he or she can always put on full effort, uh, you know, during the summer camp without having any other distractions. Now, the, the, the second part of your question is, many of the parents who come and put the children here, they, they all, I really respect them because they've all succeeded in their respective fields, uh, you know, because when I speak to them, they're such intelligent people who are contributed or contributing so much. And they obviously have an interest towards the career of their uh, child, especially in sport, because which is alien or new to them. Uh, you know, they all, they've seen sport, they've probably played sport, they want their child to play sport. But what is the pathway? which then do not uh, really, uh, uh, you know, know or probably understand. This is what, you know, at every uh, every camp when a parent comes with, uh, newly comes in. So I have a kind of a discussion with them, which lasts about 45 to one hour, 45 minutes to one hour, where we speak about the pathway, which they don't understand. You know, when when they're getting into grassroots, like a academy or a, 
uh, sports co coaching camp it is just the start now then there is school and there is there is a progression which is at the, they should uh, you know we, we make them understand that you are at the bottom of the pyramid so how do you what is the pathway, pathway. we are not assuring anyone they will reach there because very few people can make it but there is a pathway which I make them understand and for them, you know, it becomes a lot easier. Life becomes a lot easier when, you're, when they're dealing with the children. Thank you, sir. Moving on to third question. As the season starts, players, from a parent point of view, how important is to plan their season considering education and burnout? Yeah. Uh, that's a good good question because it's, we, are, we are starting a fresh season now from 2nd April. We are starting our uh, summer camp and the new season starts. So it is very, very important for the parents especially because the child or the player is not at a stage where you know he can plan his own life. It is the parent's role. Now, it gets very, very important as like I just told you about the travel every day from here and then which school he is in which academy is going to go how do you plan all that when are you when are your tuitions when are your other extracurricular activities or other sport which you play how do you plan on uh, all this and you know uh, uh, if you plan it better there is a bright chance of that you know having that burnout being less otherwise bad planning itself can lead to burnout so now now how do you how do you plan like i, I just uh, told also about the process goals if you if you do that right the planning will take care of itself now now to plan plan around your education not around your sport again i'm going to reiterate that it is your school college around that you plan your sport not not the other way with uh, sport in the center and yeah. then then and uh, they're then looking at uh, you know avenues as to how to fit in my child if i if i remember right you know jabagal srina just mentioned two to three hours of practice a day is more than enough till you reach an elite level where you may need more practice but it's not the other way like uh, i practice 24 hours a day and then i become elite no i think when you become elite the practice and planning become even more important so i keep on telling these parents there's something called as the one percent factor which is good diet good sleep good coaching good infrastructure surrounded by good people all these these are all that one percent factor but but that doesn't mean that it is 1 plus 99. It is 99 plus 1. So when I say that 1% and 99 plus 1 is uh, the, the good players to become great, that 1% is very, very important. If you are not a good player, that is, when you, how do you say that you are not a good player? Like I always believe that God-given talent, the basic, if it is there, if it is not there, you know, you cannot do much. So without having that basic in the child, and you are working on all this 1% of proper dietation, nutrition, your uh, gym work, all that. Because I've heard a lot of parents, you know, he spent so much time in the gym and all that. But if he does not know how to hold a bat or, you know, how to swing a ball or turn a ball, it will go nowhere. So this is one thing which the parents should realize that the basic God-given talent is should be there. If it is there, then all this 1% factor which I discussed comes in handy. So it is 99 plus 1, it is not 1 plus 99, which the parents should understand. A lot to take away from this, sir. Thank you so much. And to all our parents, we are back on the first of every month. Thank you so much. Thank you for the, you know, as I was uh, listening to you, Sufi, it is the 27th edition. That means we have done, uh, we have come a fair, fair, way long, uh, fair long way. And uh, it is uh, thanks to the parents who come out with relevant questions. We look forward to more questions. It is not just that your question being answered. But, uh, people who are listening to the, this uh, uh, episode, what uh, Sufian and I am, uh, I am talking, the others also will probably have similar questions. And I think I'm sure that will help them too. Thank you very much. Keep asking more questions.